The new Enterprise SL Compact High Speed Feeder from Zante delivers high capacity input for the Impressia Multimedia Digital Press where available space is limited. Designed with all the advantages of the patent pending Zante technology and the Enterprise High Capacity Feeder System, the Enterprise SL Feeder fits comfortably on a tabletop with the Impressia. Installing the Enterprise SL Feeder is simple. First, it's important to make sure you have a sturdy table that will accommodate the feeder and the Impressia. The total combined weight of both the Impressia and the Enterprise SL is 250 pounds, and the combined dimensions are 60 inches by 29 inches. The Enterprise SL will also require a power outlet separate from the Impressia. Unpacking the Enterprise SL ships in a single carton. Unpack the contents of this carton and inspect for any damage or missing components. The contents should include the feeder assembly, the power supply and power cord, the backstop, rear panel, an Allen wrench, and a small Phillips head screwdriver. You'll use the Allen wrench included with the feeder to remove the four hex head screws securing the back guide to the feeder assembly. Carefully remove the guide from the feeder assembly and reinstall it using the same hex head screws so the long metal plate is within the back side of the feeder assembly. You'll position the Enterprise SL feeder on the table aligned with the right side of the Impressia. Proper alignment of the Enterprise SL with the multi-purpose input of the Impressia is very important. The height of the feeder must be adjusted level with the multi-purpose input. Four leveling feet on the Enterprise SL are provided for this. Two forward leveling feet nearest to the multi-purpose input and two are at the rear of the feeder. First, place an envelope or a sheet of thick stock on the conveyor belt and compare the height of the feeder to the multi-purpose input. Check both the overall height and whether the back or front height of the feeder are misaligned with the multi-purpose input. For best performance and fewer misfeeds, the media on the conveyor should be even with the metal plate at the edge of the multi-purpose input when the feeder is correctly leveled. Adjust the two forward and the two rear leveling feet by tightening or loosening them individually as necessary. When the feeder is level with the multi-purpose input, tighten the lock nuts on each of the leveling feet to secure them. Next, align the Enterprise SL feeder with the multi-purpose input by sliding it forward or back so that the red alignment mark on the feeder matches the alignment indicator label on the Impressia. The feeder should touch the right side of the Impressia. With all lock nuts securely tightened on the leveling feet, Attach the rear panel to the feeder with the four Phillips head screws and screwdriver included with the feeder. Once you've aligned and leveled the Enterprise SL feeder with the Impressia, make sure the Impressia is powered off. Then you can connect the feeder interface cable to the Impressia. Connect the feeder's power supply to a power outlet. You'll then connect the power supply to one of the round sockets on the back of the feeder. Now you can switch the feeder to on and then switch on the Impressia. Loading the Enterprise SL feeder for best performance and fewer misfeeds, the center of the media should be aligned with the middle of the media path of the Impressia. The side guides and center line ruler on the Enterprise SL assist you with this alignment. When the alignment mark on the Enterprise SL feeder matches the alignment indicator on the Impressia, the center line ruler indicates the middle of the media path. To find the center of your envelope, fold one envelope in half parallel to the feed direction. Align the folded edge of your envelope with the center mark of the ruler and adjust the back guide so that it touches the other edge of your envelope. Hand tighten the knobs on the guide. Now align one envelope on the conveyor so that one edge touches the back guide and adjust the front guide so that it just touches the opposite edge. Do not adjust this guide too tightly against the envelope. You can hand tighten the knob on the front guide. You can load up to 500 envelopes at one time on the Enterprise SL feeder. Align the edge of the envelopes with the back guide and use the backstop to support the envelopes. While keeping light pressure on the forward most end of the stack, press the advance button on the feeder to convey the envelopes to the multi-purpose input. Release the button when the envelopes engage the multi-purpose feed roller and the Impressia cycles. Ensure that the envelopes have feathered somewhat evenly on the conveyor leading to the multi-purpose input. If not, 
Simply remove the stack and start over. Once the envelopes are correctly advanced into the multi-purpose input, you're ready to begin printing. While the Impressia is printing, you can easily add more envelopes by removing the backstop, placing the envelopes at the end of the stack, and replacing the backstop. This provides uninterrupted printing for completing the job a lot sooner. The Enterprise SL Feeder and the Impressia Multimedia Digital Press are the ideal combination for improving productivity in commercial print operations with limited floor space.